it. We're just gonna jump right into it. Uh, see where we go here. And we no character switches from here. We are gonna have the Ken Incineroar against the uh, Ike Fox. This is gonna be really tough for both of these characters because these are a bit of heavy hitters. Uh, Ken has a, a little bit of combo power, but unfortunately, people do fall out a little bit. He tried going deep to try to get light out. No, he used his jump right there as well, and Hazmat used his jump right there. So if he actually got hit by that shine, that very well could have been a uh, that very well could have been a dead Hazmat right there. Fox's shine actually being quite good at its uh, original uh, Sakurai usage from back in melee, except for when your uh, Uppy has invincibility like Incineroar's does right there, and it's just going to go right through it. Good stuff to uh, Rosalina for knowing that, and he's just going to be able to get rid of light as well with that strong, possibly tipper forward smash right there from Incineroar. Such a strong kill option from that character, man. Ooh, and it hit, gets that out and unfortunately knocks down his teammate with that F smash. Or sorry, uh, knocks out uh, Rosalina with that half smash, F smash. So we do have a bit of control here over from Ike specifically. Oh! Mars going in, trying to get that down air and gets the nice hit on it, gets all three of he, them. He had the right idea. Oh, what are you. <laughs> oh, good stuff to Hazmat putting out that, uh, putting out that Shory, uh, not sure you can, that uh, Hadouken right there to be able to uh, secure his spot coming back and light. My goodness, the good awareness, not going for any throw right there, just holding uh, Rosalina right there, knowing that Mars was going to have enough time to be able to make it back and charge a forward smash right there to be able to take it. That, that forward smash actually has more kill power than any of Fox's throws anyway. I believe so, yeah. Another forward smash is going to be able to do it on Rosalina right there. And so far, we've only been like in this match for about like two minutes right there, and just all the stocks of the red team are gone. Only one stock deleted for the blue team in the term of light. <laughs> what is light doing? Yeah, Hazmat, Hazmat's got it, man. Oh no, these guys—they're—they're they're friends. They're friends. Oh, they're—they're. They're, oh, they're, they're friends, man. Oh, they're just doing it doing one v one. They're friends. No. <laughs> okay. oh. oh, look at them. They're—they're so, they're smiling too. No. Yo, they're teaming up on light. <laughs> Yo, get them. <laughs> oh no, is he gonna do it? Yeah. Oh, yeah there yeah, it is. Yeah, right there. All right. All right. And uh, Mars just popped off. I don't know if you saw that. He went yes <laughs> to, to uh, glow to his uh, to glow to his good friend Hazmat right there. These guys are all friends, man. You know it's good to see them have this kind of fun going against each other. Two v one in opposite teams. <laughs> okay. I mean, sure. Is that, is that what you wanted to see from Suplex City, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, that's exactly. You got it. That seems like something you would see in the ring. It's like it's just a two v one tag team and suddenly like, Yo. <laughs> oh my God, you're right. That just seems exactly like something. No, that but that's in the, the ring. anime betrayal. You're right. I mean, top, I, and top I can, ten anime betrayal. And I can, no, and I can say anime betrayal. I'm not saying that because like, oh, I watch anime. Because I actually, I'm like the only Smasher in the world who's like not even into anime. I'm saying it because wrestling is anime. We all know this to be fact. Because that was a betrayal right there. That was like coming in for the ring. It's like, and here comes the rock bottom, and then Dwayne just does it on the other guy. Like, no, you, you can't be doing that. Do we have any strikes? They're not using it. Yeah, they're definitely not using it yeah, here. Oh, God, that's the worst. It sounds like we're going to another Pokemon stage, though. You see, they just picked the music. So yeah. I, I'm going to assume that we're sounds like it you back. know that either that's back, running it back or going to you know. Exactly. Uh, I'm assuming we're running it back to PS2. These guys seem like the kind of people who wouldn't care about a stage too much in this matchup. And I say not care about stage because, you know, like, PS2 is like the new, like, Smashville, basically, that, you know, Smashville was in Smash 4, you know? It's like the big old neutral starter. You're like, yo, uh, Pokemon? Yo, Pokemon. All right, cool, cool, cool. No, we don't have to strike. I, I'm kind of glad uh, because the music choices of Smash 4 are kind of okay. Yeah. Oh, Lucario. And the Animal Crossing stages, really hit or miss. Pokemon, the Pokemon songs though? Be oh, they're, they're, going, they're going Pokemon. And they went for the one Pokemon stage that we didn't think it was. Are they just, are, are they literally just letting, are they, are they playing Pokemon Trainer? Okay. They, is this, is this what's going on? Is oh there, is there really they are! They, 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 they gentlemen's over here to take, oh no, this is the right there. They decided to just take this. Oh my god, these guys are doing like an actual, I don't know if this is like a wrestling themed thing they're doing or if it's like a Pokemon themed thing. Might be the latter, like might you be said. Both. Why not both? Oh man, it might be both. Oh, but are they fighting now? Oh, is it over? Oh uh, yeah, I think they're just letting oh. it. Like two, two partners go in, and then when one stock goes down, you swap out with your teammate. <laughs> oh, that was. Hey man, that was at least exciting while it lasted. But we got plenty more. Uh, there was a lot. Go, there's a lot going on. Yeah. But all, all, I, all I saw was that Hazmat ended up losing a stock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is both these. All these characters kind of hanging out on the left edge. His Pokemon just revolted against his trainer. That's going to be it. And now Tipper, yeah. the last hit of the up right there, just as strong as the initial hits, actually is going to be able to take out that stock right there. Ken, of course, his up a multi-hit as opposed to Ryu's, which is still a single hit one. That gives me flashbacks of, like, Faco Dare, that no matter what part of Dare it is, you're getting spiked. Yeah. <laughs> and in this game, that moves even faster. Ooh, uh, 
I like this edge guard coming out from uh, coming out from Mars right here, attacking off of the wall into a down air, into a neutral air right there, to try and take out Hazmat stock. And then all of a sudden, Rosalina so holding his own actually against Mars, but Mars now 120, 130%. And Lucario, this is not a fun look because no. look now Lucario is going to have all this kill power, which just got removed, deleted, yeah. you know, re released in the box. And I'm not sure if it still works the same in doubles with the old free for all rule that it did in Smash 4 that the less stocks that Lucario has, the stronger he is, not just in terms of higher percent. No, uh, it, that, it's always been stocked. Oh, it, oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Was not aware. Thank you for uh, thank you for directing me on that. And a really good tech coming out from light right there to be able to survive that hazmat downer on the side right there. Rosalina sitting with all his stocks right there, and actually, yo, that's hype. And Incineroar on his way back to the stage is already like hard enough of a thing to do as it is, and he is able to get a kill on not, the way back. Not quite. Couldn't get that up throw uh, to kill. Oh no, he rolled into his partner's F tilt, and unfortunately he was at high enough percent that would have killed anyway. Oh man. That's unfortunate team kill, but not quite hitting him with that headbutt. The red team with the lead right here. Definitely picked better Pokemon than the blue team right now. Ken doing a wonderful job at training his Incineroar that he got ever since it was just a little lit. Red team with the stage control right now. No, the jab is not going to be able to do anything on uh, on Light's shield right there. The mistiming of it by uh, Rosalina is going to make it so Light is okay and potentially going to get the kill. No, air dodging back on the platform is Rosalina right now. And now Blue Team with a little bit of stage control. Rosa putting on his own, but oh, that side B throwing a lot of damage in here, but not quite enough to kill with that up air is definitely. And he tries to go for the up B cheeky kill and doesn't quite get it. And Mars laughing about that one as well. I can see him over in the distance. I, 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 see, I see that stupid. grin. Knowing he did something stupid for his teammate right there, but these guys are all about just having fun right here. And off stage we go. Oh, and, and there that was actually one. a very good, uh, you know, gim from uh, Hazmat. That Denner hitting it in just the right angle and just the right point. Now we have a two v one scenario uh, with Mars, hey. but unfortunately Hazmat isn't kill percent. Um, I don't think it's gonna be quite kill percent until you get about um, about seventy or eighty percent. Hey, you want to talk about any character that can potentially do it in a 2v1? It's the one that gets stronger the higher his damage is. Yes, but the thing about Incineroar is that Incineroar can get the kill a lot earlier than Ken can. That is true. So Mars definitely has to be very there. careful, but it's not going to matter. The show oh. oh, the show you can actually not kill him right there. Wonderful DI coming out from Mars. But the no, back not air, quite a tech on that one. I'm not sure he actually could have. He was oh, very, I, very I, I, I saw him on the wall. I thought he could have, if he DI'd down to go into it. I can't quite see. Uh, is it possible to actually see the DI of that? Just after Let's that? take a look. Let's see if it was. As soon as he gets onto the wall, let's see what happens. Onto the wall. Not quite it. Was that, I couldn't, so was there quite anything on that? It just he, seems like he just got hit. If he held down to reduce his knockback, maybe. But, but the, thing the is blue he, light was he, also there. But the thing is, he, he did, in fact, um, probably tried to tech, because you could have teched there in that scenario anyway. Yeah. So I think he might have just missed it. Well, oh, it was red? Oh, it was red? Okay. Yeah, because that's the thing, you know, I'm, I'm sure you know as well, of course, and the stream probably knows as well, but I'm going to say it anyway because, you know, I'm mansplaining to the whole stream right now. Of course, Please the, do. Change in, uh, the change in uh, lacking of, uh, the change in untechable to this game is that they fixed almost all of them, but you now cannot tech uh, certain things, whether it's on the ground or on a wall, if the knockback is too high. It's uh, literally, okay. it is literally impossible to tech because the knockback will be too high. That is why I brought it up right there. He was at like 120, 140 or something. So the back air might have just been, it might have just been too much for him to be able to tech. But like you said, if he held down to reduce his knockback, it might have been possible. Who's to say? Who knows? We're moving on to game three anyway. The final game. And then we go back to set. the real characters. And we're taking this a little more we seriously back to, this time. Yeah, you know, Mars, Mars and Light definitely done messing around right now, having a little bit too much fun, you know. But they don't want to lose to Hazmat and Rosalina right now. So. Yeah, I mean, because if they do, they're never going to hear the end of it. Yeah, Asma. they're never going to hear the end of it. Yeah, rightfully so. I would, I, if I were them, I would be talking that smack, too. Red team with all the stage control in the world right now and just letting it back with each member of the blue team going to each platform, respectively. You know, I originally... Surprised neither of them read it. I originally had my doubts with the... Oh! oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> that, that down here off the ledge. I think the light oh, just wasn't three. looking. <laughs> Pump it, man. Yo, happy LeBronica, man. That was a hell of a dunk. <laughs> Anyway, I. <laughs> anyway, um, as I was saying, I was originally not quite sure how the team of Ken and Incineroar would do, mm -hmm. and I'm kind of liking it that the the combo potential with uh, Ken on here, but then the kill power of Incineroar is insane. I like it that these teams get juggled into each other. It's it's a very interesting team dynamic. It's not the kind of one where you're going to be seeing too many uh, 
maybe not too many ping pongs out of because they're not exactly big combo characters. But like you said, well, can sort it, of it's it, more like, it's more of a volleyball serve spike than it is a ping pong. That, that's it's such more a good of a, way to describe so it. So one dude. two instead of like a back and forth. That is a really good way to describe it, Shimbo. Like a nice little back and forth right there as opposed to like a ping pong oriented team. But like this team is definitely more so about kill power than anything else. We try to go over the side B on um, uh, Mars, but Mars dodge out of it, gets past him. And now Mars has complete control of the stage. Light gets back safely. Ken gets back on. And unfortunately, uh, Rosalina losing all of his stocks and has not decided to take this 2v1 scenario himself. Has that wants to prove that if he does win this, he is the best Smash player in New England. Oh, no, uh, he just doesn't get up. Or yo, Hazmat, yo, my man Hazmat is down, but he is not out. All he has to do, <gasps> that's one. And all he has to do is take just... four straight stocks from Mars and Light. Easy peasy, right? That's two. That's two. That's two right now. And he's sitting at crazy low percent himself. Is slowly but surely tacking it on to 40. But he's going to get hit out of the up. No, they're, yo, they're messing with him. Oh, they're, right. That was a free punish. Okay. That was a free punish. They're messing with him. Never mind. They're definitely trying to style. I mean, all three of these guys are very good friends. So, you know, having a hazmat in the 2v1 right now, they're probably trying to troll him up the hazmat. Don't jump. What are you doing? <laughs> no. Oh, no. I thought he was charging down smash the whole time. Is it something about us <laughs> that this keeps happening, that people just keep charging smash attacks and it works? I, I mean, oh, what do you do? I, I need to laugh about that one more time before I go. Can I get a replay, Dill? Uh, uh, no, no, I'm sorry, not uh, Can I get a replay, Devin? I right, thought this. I thought this entire thing was a down smash card. All right, Mars got really there thirsty. There is the upset. He's trying to reach for his Coca-Cola, and there it is. It's on the shelf above him, just grabbing it from <laughs> all the long distance. <laughs> on top of the fridge. On top of the fridge. He literally just said hazmat is his fridge. I'm done. Literally done, because that is going to be me for this block. I'm going to be swapping off for my man Ajax right here. Are we, are we both swapping off? I am. Ooh. You're staying right there. Okay. The stream loves you. The stream needs you, but that is going to be me. I'll be back on at four, casting with Newt, I believe. Uh, don't you touch that fire stick or that mouse or literally anything that you're using to watch this. We got plenty more hot uh, smash ultimate doubles action coming your way. Take care of you guys soon.